folks, today we are testing what's probably some of the most aerodynamic car that we ever had on this channel. And some of you guys asked for this. This is the 1 over 43 Oracle Repo Racing Formula 1 car. The level of details on this thing is insane and I'm super excited to see how that translates into cool looking aerodynamic result. Let's kick things off by unboxing it. Loosen the screw on the bottom. So right away, I love the packaging of this car. It's sitting on a slanted surface. It makes it so much easier for just admiring it. And for the car itself, it feels really good in hand. It's surprisingly big and long too. It's actually longer than some of the 1 over 36 scale model cars that I own, which I guess it makes sense because racing cars in real life are quite big. I love the amount of detail on this car. We have tons of advertisement stickers across the body. We have the Oracle here, the Ripple graphic sitting at the cockpit, uh, Tech Hewer from the watch brand, and we have Visa. Now, despite how small these techs are, they're very detailed and crisp, which I like it a lot. And if you look carefully, you can actually see the carbon fiber pattern on the car. So that's pretty cool. And it feels pretty light in my hand. The tires is rubbery, just like the real racing tire. Now it does not have the um, roll back and propel mechanism, but it does slide pretty smoothly on a surface. All right. It's time to put this beauty in our newly designed wind tunnel, which I call it the Aeroflow, and see how it performs in our aerodynamic test. Check out the front wing. This thing's job is to slide through the air and push it around the tires. Less messy air here means less drag, which is a big deal in F1. Then there's the side pods. They're kind of like the guides, helping the air flow smoothly along the car to keep it stable and reduce lift. Now the rear wing. This part is cool. As air flows over it, it creates pressure that literally pushes the car down onto the track. More downforce means the better grip, especially in corners. And if you watch the air swirling behind the car, and that's turbulence, it's messy, chaotic, and it just slows the car down. It's crazy how every little curve and wing is designed to manage the airflow. F1 cars are basically super engineered wind machine. Every bit of their design is fighting to squeeze out more speed on the track. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just love the crazy amounts of aerodynamic design on this F1 Formula 1 racing car. And if you're interested in our mini wind tunnel, feel free to check it out on my website. I'm still finalizing a few things, but you can sign up on my email list to get notified as soon as it's ready. But I will tell you now, the quantity is gonna be super limited because honestly, I don't want to turn my apartment into a 3D printing farm uh, because I have a small cat and it's just not good for her to breathe it in. Oh, and uh, for some of your F1 Formula Racing fans out there, I just saw this uh, trailer for the new F1 film with uh, Brad Pitt in it. Uh, looks pretty awesome. So if you have not seen it, definitely go check that out. Thank you for watching. My name is Aki. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and I will see you in the next videos.